Hi guys, so this is the tutorial for the snow globe assignment in Schoology. So if you're gone for sports or if you need to come in and finish it another time, if you're not here in class, um, hopefully this tutorial will help you. Fairly simple, it's basically just layering different elements within the layer panel of Photoshop. Um, so you'll start by going to Schoology and downloading the elements that I have provided for you. I found all of those on sites like Vecdeezy and PNG AAA. So with that, let me go ahead and get started. I'll share my screen. The first photo you're going to open up in Photoshop is this one here, Elf Shelf. Again, I found this one on Unsplash. Um, it's okay, it's a great photo, but I would like to sort of make it a little bit more festive. So what I'm gonna do is now that I have it open, I'm gonna click on Select Object. And you're gonna see it just selects the elves. I would like to select the shelf as well. So I'm gonna hold down my shift button. I'm gonna click here, and I'm just gonna sort of drag my cursor from that top left corner to the bottom right. And again, I'm holding down the shift button while I do that. And then that's gonna select not only the elves, but also the shelf underneath it. And then I'm going to invert or reverse my selection because I don't want to use generative fill on the area I've selected, I want to use generative fill on that blank wall. So I'm going to invert my selection and that is right here, this little doodad right here. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, my selection sort of flips. Um, now in my generative fill box, and um, just to back up, if you don't see this generative fill box, it's because you did not check it off from the windows option. So go to windows, make sure contextual taskbar has a check by it so that you have the option for generative fill. Um, but again, with that top wall selected, I'm gonna type in holiday wallpaper. Maybe I'll say vintage. I like vintage stuff. Let's see what happens. It's getting there. And sometimes these results are a little funky. So, okay, that's not horrible. Um, Nah. Ooh, I don't even know what that is. I'm going to generate some more. Let's see uh, what it comes up with. It's always a crapshoot. You never know what you're going to get with generative fill. Um, let's see. Oh, that's pretty. That's different. Um, okay. Okay. I kind of like that. It's a little bit of texture. So you find something that you like, but please put something on that back wall. Um, from here on out, it's fairly easy. We're gonna go to File, Place Embedded, and you're gonna find that snow globe, perfect snow globe. And again, I found that on Vecdeezy. And I'm just gonna size this so that it lands on my shelf like that. It already has a drop shadow. One last thing to do. And I'm gonna place it just like that. But now we're gonna fill up our snow globe with the elements that I posted in the assignment. Um, and if you are in class, what we're doing is we're taking photos of each other and putting ourselves in the snow globe. So from here, I'm gonna go, um, I'm actually gonna flatten. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna flatten my image. So again, go here to your three lines and flatten or go to layer up here and flatten. Either way, you're gonna flatten your image. I would like to add some snow to the bottom of our globe. So I'm gonna use my lasso tool right up here in the top left. I'm gonna click on that tool. I'm gonna to select lasso tool and I'm just gonna select this area down here. And in that generative fill box, I'm gonna just type in snow. And again, we'll see what pops up but this is going to save me some time from downloading elements on VecDZ, which I just get kind of tired of. So let's see what Photoshop can do for us. Um, it's just snow. Why is it taking that? Ah, no, 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 ma'am. What? See, um, I'm going to rate this and say poor. <laughs> I did not ask for coffee grinds. I asked for snow. So let's Let's try um, blanket of snow. Let's see what comes up. Again, generative fill is in its infancy. So 
you just never know what you're going to get. It should improve over time, hopefully. And still, oh, well, let's see. That's not horrible. I'm going to keep it in the interest of time. So I have a little snow in my globe. From here, I'm going to go to file and I'm going to start placing my other elements. I'm going to go to file, place, embedded. File, place, embedded. And I'm going to open up, um, I'm going to open up this Christmas tree. I provided you with a menorah. Um, and you can go to Vectizi or PNG AAA. You can find other holiday winter themed items. I'm totally fine with that. But I've got this Christmas tree. I'm going to go ahead and place it right there. And it looks pretty good. I'm going to lower my opacity of, of the elements I place in the snow globe just slightly, only because it's supposed to be behind glass. So to lower my opacity, I come right up here. And I'm just going to lower that. Um, you know, just to like 80, 88, yeah, 89, somewhere around there. I just, I just want it to look, you know, a little bit more legit. Um, again, I'm going to go to file place embedded. I'm going to find another element. Um, let's assume you've taken your photo of yourself or your friend in class. Pretend this is our friend. I'm going to click done and remove background, which should work relatively well because this is a solid blue background. So let's click on that. Super cute. Let's pretend like that's me. I'm adorable. Um, I'm going to place me in the snow globe right in front of it. That works super cute. And again, maybe one more element file place embedded. I'm going to add, let's do a little snowman. That's cute. Oh, he popped up super tiny. A little snowman. That works too. And again, lower the opacity of these just a smidge. Um, so they give the impression that they're behind glass. Not too much though. We don't want to be translucent, but just, you know, just a little bit. Um, last element I'm going to add, I'll go to file place embedded, um, actually two more, um, basically the snow or the glitter. So when you shake up the snow globe, you get the snow and the glitter. I'm going to add, let's add our snow first. And as you can see, um, the snow is on, I'm going to bring that to the top. Uh, the snow is on a black background. So we're going to have to use the blend modes. So with my snow layer here at the top of my panel, I'm gonna come here to where it says normal. And these are my blend modes. And you can sort of hover over them until you see one that works. And typically it's either lighten or screen. Actually screen works really well. So let's just press screen. Um, and as you can see, we have a lot of that snow falling outside of the snow globe. All we're going to do is use our eraser right here. We've used that plenty of times. Choose a good eraser size. And it's going to ask if you want to turn this into a smart object, essentially asking if we should rasterize that layer. Press OK um, and go ahead and erase. Erase whatever falls outside of that, um, whatever falls outside of the snow globe. You could also use... Um, I could have masked that. I just didn't want to. So let's just use the eraser. That looks pretty cute. And again, you can adjust the opacity of your eraser. So I'm going to come up here and maybe I lower it to like 40% and maybe I just wipe it off of my cute little face. Um, so we can see that just a little bit better. Yeah, and a little bit off the snowman, but that's cute. Eh, I gotta clean that up. That looks sloppy. So adjust your eraser, adjust the opacity of your eraser. And then last but not least, I'm going to add that glitter. So I'm going to go to file, place embedded. And here's my glitter right here. You're going to do the same thing with the glitter as far as using a blend mode to sort of make it look a little bit, a lot, a bit, um, <laughs> a lot, a bit more uh, blended with the other elements. So let's see how screen, oop, I didn't press done. Um, again, I have this glitter layer at the top. I'm going to come over to my blend modes. I'm going to see 
which one works. Oh, that's kind of cool. Lighten works. Let's do lighten. And again, I can adjust the opacity of my layer. And I'm going to want to go in with that eraser brush and really wipe it off of some of my image. We, we probably want more snow than glitter. But that looks, that looks cute. Good enough, right? Um, very last step is we're going to go to our three lines here and flatten image. Um, again, we want to smush all those layers together. You can also go here to layer, flatten image. That works too. And you're done. Easy peasy. We are going to go to file, save as. And again, please make sure that format is JPEG. And you'll save it and submit. And that is pretty much it. Let me head over here. <laughs> And that's it. Easy peasy, right? Um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message on Schoology. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can slow it down. Um, I know I tend to go fast trying to get through this on my prep period. So if you could um, just slow it down on YouTube and hopefully that helps. There are instructions on Schoology as well, step-by-step. Step. So I hope that helps and I'll talk to you all soon. Happy holidays.